Hey everybody! This is going to be part one of my penny haul for the days November 6th and 7th. So today's the 8th and I am not going out shopping today. Oh no, that bird almost fell. I'm not going shopping today because I've got to get through this and get things put away. Um, and then I'll go out and I'll just pick up whatever is left over of Summer Swim, Pink Square, and the Yellow Dot. So let's get into this right now. All right, y'all. And if you like penny shopping, if you like going on trips to the store, looking at stuff, learning about coupons and ways we can save money, then this channel is for you. So go ahead, click that subscribe button. You've got nothing to lose. And if you hate me later, you can always unsubscribe. All right, let's go. This is in no particular order. Um, I'm just really trying to unload bags and figure out what to do with these things. So let's just jump right on in. This little plant, this is a purple dot. These little locks. These are following green dot. And these can be found anywhere in the store. Some of these were just hanging on um, end caps or like the side end caps where they're on the sides of the end cap, if that makes any sense at all. Um, just hanging there. So be sure to look everywhere. Check under those tiered tables that are in the front of the store because a lot of times they put things in baskets under there and it gets forgotten. So check there. Two of these bad boys. And they're actually pretty heavy. They're actual wood. So they're pretty cool. Um, I was thinking about doing something for Halloween with those. I think that would be a cool Halloween decoration. So I found a little sea turtle. This is spring 23, so I must have missed this last year. Might as well just grab this little stationary sticky notes. My nails and cuticles are so bad, but what am I supposed to do? I'm too busy penny shopping. I, and plus, I ain't got money to get my nails done. I ain't anybody got time for that. I'm not going to sit there for an hour to get my nails done. I got things to do and pennies to buy. I'll just be the girl with the bad cuticles. There's that for the star. And then this one, I think I already showed you, but let's do it again, just in case. All right, I left most of these at the store. I just grabbed one so I could show you. Um, these are just scattered everywhere. Also, you can find these just sitting down random aisles on the counter, you know, just like right there. And you walk by and you're like, oh, okay. So that's how I found a lot of these. Then there was a heart one. <coughs> Cut that out, Dana. I found just a couple of the black paper party products. I found this blanket. And there's your UPC on that. And it's really soft. So, I like it. It's nice. Oh, Togi, he's shaking. He's shaking the sillies out over there. This is a super old penny. Um, this was part of, I want to say, like the round one of clearance clean out, like last year. So, I was just digging through clearance and I found it. Didn't find too much of the ribbons, but I got this. What is that number? Hang on, sorry, y'all. Okay, it's a two. And it looks like this. It kind of looks Easter-y to me. I don't know. It just reminds me of Easter. Definitely spring. And another old penny I found was this um, protectant paste. And this is for, like protecting it's a moisture barrier basically for skin for like incontinence stuff like that so let's see what else 
this little silicone lanyard. I never found any of the things that pop in. Maybe I'll find them this week when I'm out checking out the stores because I just go like I'll pick a place. I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go north today. All right, I'm going to go south today. <laughs> like I just go and then I go to a densely populated area and I hit up all those stores and then I hit up stores on the way home. So that's usually my plan of attack. I just go by where they're at, where they're are more Dollar General so that I get more bang for my buck. It's worth the drive if there's a whole bunch of stores that I can score huge at because I always have to think about is it worth my gas money because you know we struggle so there are some times when I can't go penny shop because I don't have the gas money so I always want to make sure that I'm heading to a densely populated area so that I can get more bang for my buck. All right, so let's keep going. This is one of my favorites. It's a vanilla scented candle and it looks like beeswax. And it's gonna have the bumblebee little tag. And then your UPC is gonna be kind of hard to read. The cashier had a lot of trouble just trying to look at it. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but just look for this candle because it's the only one like it. I don't remember if there were shorter ones or not, but these are my fave the pillar ones and they smell like vanilla. And let me tell you, they smell so good. They're not like the cheapy smelling ones. So these are fun. All right, y'all, let's move on along. So I figured this is probably supposed to go in here, but then when I flip this over, it says it's only for LED candles. So at first I thought this was like a utensil holder, like a pencil holder, but I guess it's for an LED candle. So there's that. This is part of that beehive collection. He's going to fall off the bed. Dude. And there he goes. Are you proud of yourself? Jeez. All right, y'all, let's continue. Let's take a look at some wind chimes. I could have had two whole entire displays of wind chimes, but I did not have any need for them. So I hope other people came in and got wind chimes. Um, there's, here's a tag. UPC is not going to help you at all at this point, but, um, just look for the wind chimes. This one is just like a swirler one. So it's not really a chime. It just twists. This one is just a little wind chime. And I guess that one does not have a tag. Got some star papers. Jelly roll pens. Now I only found a few of these. I did not, I only found them at one store. These were very, very hard to find. So I'm happy with what I did find. We got more of these. I already showed all the UPC on those. Not like it matters. We'll just have to go try to find them. Um, we got a whole bunch of these little silicone bracelets that snap. I couldn't find the little poppy things that go in there, but these are all just going to be donated. This was one of my most exciting finds, I think. Well, I'm going to say this probably about everything, but... I, honest to goodness, was so shocked because I just started scanning the pop shelf stuff and this bowl is a penny. So if they have these in your stores, be sure to scan. It is going to be a penny. So, but this might be following like spring, summer, you know, our green dot stuff. But I don't know that much about pop shelf to tell you what it's following. So I'm just going to say, you see these purple squares and stuff, you scan because you could be pleasantly surprised like I was. I got beads out the wazoo. You got beads? I got beads. You need some beads? I got you some beads. Um, 
these are following green dot. I got a whole bunch of those, not even really sure what to do with them. Um, I mean, I like beaded garland. I might end up using this as a beaded garland, but just restring it on a long string because I've been wanting to make one for Christmas. So that might be cool because I could paint it in different colors. Okay, thanks y'all for helping me figure that out. I think I am going to just keep all the beads and just turn it into a really, really long one with my colorful beads. Or I could put it on the tree. Look at all the ideas coming to me now, y'all. Thank you. All right, let's keep going. I haven't even made a dent yet. These two candles are following green dots. They are in different scents. You're not going to probably be able to find them by, you know, using the UPC, but I figured I'd share them anyway. So that's what you're looking for. This is the top. Here's the sides of them. And so in case you see them in your stores, you'll know they're a penny. I'm sure you guys have noticed that this is a green dot rug. I'm just sitting on it because I didn't want to sit on the tile floor. So that is a penny item also that I found. Okay, but I'm just gonna leave it down here. I just hope I don't forget to talk about it later. Alrighty, I got this little green dot water bottle. Got two of these little garlands. Those are just little babies. Maybe I could use those in between. I don't know. I love wooden beads, so I might just use them for something. I got this nonstick loaf pan. UPC, like I said, probably is not going to help, but I'll still provide it in case you want to scan or confirm that it is a penny in your area. So I thought that was pretty nice. A penny for a bread pan? That's awesome. Whoa. Then I got some of the little treat cups. And I think they all look the same. Yeah, they're just like that floral. Um, I'm pretty sure you can, can you bake in these? I wonder if you can bake like muffins or I bet you can put your muffins in here after you bake them with the muffin cup. Okay. That's kind of cool. Got some napkins. I would like to find more of this stuff. This is what I would like to go find because I was really enjoying the bowls and stuff. So I got two of those at one store. Then I got this little treat bag thing. It says bake it happen. I'm just going to be tossing stuff somewhere else behind me. Got these labels. These. So just look for this yellow with the plain black because that's a good indicator that this is going to be your penny one. Or if you see, you know, the green dot ones or there's also purple dot ones. Did I already show you this? I think I did, but I don't know. <laughs> I found one of these little babies. This is the kind of stuff that makes me the happiest. It's so useful. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, here's a lantern I got. I found four of these in one store. Um, I did share my haul with all the cashiers and actually other people in line. <laughs> the cashiers were so excited for me. They were telling everyone, everything in her basket is just a penny. And then it made other people go look and get the penny items in the store because I left a whole bunch of stuff. So I was telling people what tags to look for, like these gray pop shelf tags, the green pop shelf tags, 
the purple squares. So just scan anything you see that's like this pop shelf. Because I don't know anything about pop shelf. All I know is these are showing up at my DG stores and they're a penny. So hopefully you will be able to score too. But these are $20 lanterns, y'all. They're so heavy. All right. Also, I got plenty of these in different colors. These are solar lanterns, but they're also battery operated. So you put them out in the sun, you know, you soak up the energy, I guess, <laughs> of the sun. And then you can also have battery backup down here at the bottom. So that's pretty darn cool. And then I got one in this sage green color. Toki, please stop. I found this little dinosaur light. I thought that was pretty cute. I don't even know where to put this. It's so huge. That's what she said. I found these little beads. Simply blessed. We've got this one. It is a solar lantern. Look for these gray tags. You're also going to find um, pillows also. Oh no. Oh no, it's not broken. It's off the top. Uh, there's pillows with these tags. There's just so much right now in the stores. I got tables. I'm going to show you everything. I just want to show you this now. So in case you see these in your stores, you know they are included. Whoa. So this one is like, I don't know, it almost looks like a pumpkin. But it is gray tagged, pop shelf, at regular DG, and it's a penny. And this one... Also, pop shelf at DG. It's a penny. Go find them. All right, y'all. Let's continue. So, I got one of these. This is that Shades of Grey collection. Now, I did leave more than half of what's in this room at the stores because I did not have space in my car. It was already filled to the ceiling. And... I just, you know, I, I don't have room for all this stuff, y'all, so I'm not going to bring it home if I don't have use for it, because I know how happy I get when I find a penny item, so if I can leave that for someone else to, you know, have that little couple seconds of joy, just let them have it, you know, like, what the hell do I need eight of the same thing for? All right, anyway, I got these. And then there's one that says home. I think there's another one that says something else also, but I didn't get it. I also left these at several stores. All right, y'all, let's keep going. So I got this little and sign. And I did, oh shoot, I did leave a whole bunch of these in stores. One, because I'm pretty sure they painted the wrong sign or the wrong side of the sign. Pretty sure this white should be what's on this side because this just looks like the unfinished side. So I only took one in case, you know, someone wants to maybe paint it or whatever, do some crafty thing with it. Um, I'm donating it to church, so maybe they can do something with it. Um, but I figured I'll leave them for someone else to find because, you know, I don't, I don't need but one of them. <clears throat> All right, so I got an initial, the golden A, not the scarlet letter, but still a big old A if you need that in your life. All right, what else? That's the Duderman. I got this little clock. It is following green dot. There is a UPC. And I just found this where all the clocks are on the NCI aisle. So check there. I got this little tea light holder. It's that, um, I think it's the Shades of Grey collection. 
And I did leave all of those Shades of Grey collection pillows at the stores. Um, I only took a couple of the blueprints. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. This is just part one of my penny shopping haul. I will be uploading a few more videos to complete the entire haul from two days. And then hopefully I'll be able to go out and shop for some more pennies. But just keep checking back because I have got lots of content coming out for you guys and I don't want you to miss it. So until I see y'all again, I will catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.